All right, I'm uh, just going to show how to get started quick in Fusion 360. So we're here at school. We got some kids plugging away. Um, so start with a sketch, right? Probably on one of the vertical planes here. This is Fusion 360 again. Um, let's see, probably, you know, again, as usual, document settings going to be in inches. Most of you have been doing that at home anyway, in inches. Uh, I'm going to start with a line. Uh, I'm going to make it five inches long. 5.0. Enter. All right. And that's going to be the central line we rotate around. Um, so I'm going to kind of just draw something pretty basic based on some designs we've, I've done in class. Now, um, the width of this you know, five inches long and about 0.75 for the basic shape of it is about right. You can go beyond that when you add features, but initially you probably want to keep it small. So 0.75, that's about point, you know, 0.35 or so. So I'm going to make it 0.35, make it, make it 0.7, and then start adding some features. So I'll start with just a basic cylindrical shape. You know, I have a sketch on paper, right? You want to plan out a sketch on paper. Um, I think I was showing you in the other video a copy, a rough copy of uh, Anakin Skywalker's lightsaber. So maybe I'll do that one again. Let me zoom in a bit here. All right. All right. Oh, what's going on here? Enter. All right. So all the lines are in there. I'm not sure why those ones are not black. Finish sketch. All right. We're going to do a revolve. That's our only option. I'm going to change my view so I can kind of see what's going on here. Um, the axis is going to be this axis. Hit OK. All right. So there's the basic shape. Um, now, first thing I want to do is figure out the work plane on the side here and hollow this first part out. So I'm going to start a sketch on the front of this like we did in um, Inventor, if you watch that video. I'm going to draw a circle here. That's 0 0.7, so I'm going to make this point, um, oh, Probably 0 0.65, no, 0.6. That'll give us 0 0.05 difference on either side. Finish sketch. Bring it back to a home view or maybe a side view. Now I notice my view is showing the hidden edges, so that's good. I don't remember if that's default or not. All right, so I'm going to extrude this a distance. Oh, I don't know. Let's try one inch and see what that looks like. But I don't want to go that way. I want to go. I want to go the other way, and I want it to be a cut. And I have to make the distance negative, right? Negative one. All right. So in the other drawing, I made it 0.75. So I'm, I guess I'll just stick with that. My other not drawing other lights here. Hit OK. All right. OK. So I can't see the hidden edges. So I'm going to try to change my view here. I, I don't know exactly how to do this in Inventor. I think I can trying to remember. Um, how to be able to see inside of it. Uh, let's see here. Oh, how did we do that? Oh, yeah, yeah. Document settings, is it? Come on. Oh, well. I like to be able to see those hidden edges, but now, I, of course, I'm in the middle of this, and I can't remember how to change it. Oh, well, I'll have to look that up and get back to you on that, how to change it. You guys probably know at home. 
visual style there it is right here display settings visual style shaded with uh, hidden edges well, that allows you to see inside the part here all right so what we're going to do is add a work plane onto the side of this so this is for everybody in class two you know you do your basic revolve basic extrusions but then you gotta figure out how to do stuff right so you gotta add gotta add some work plane um and it's under construct in fusion 360. and the one we use all the time is one of the ones we use all the time is uh plane tangent to face at a point or offset from plane tangent plane that's the one i like tangent plane make a tangent to this and it's kind of cool is in fusion 360 you just select the surface and then you can select the angle relative to the surface so you can put it wherever you want it's a little bit easier than doing the uh tangent to surface and parallel to plane and then just hit okay i gonna start a sketch on that plane. All right, I'm going to cut this off with a spline like I did in the other video. All right, so spline, I'm going to start. Oh, see how that's not in there? So um, I'm going to hit escape. Now I have to remember how to project geometry here. And... Fusion 360, where the heck is it? All right, uh, should be under here. Project include that should be a that should be right up on the main thing. Um, we're gonna project all right some of the features into this sketch. So I guess I'll project that into this sketch, okay. Now, so the, law, the outlines of that are in here now, so I can reference it. Spline. Oh, come on. There we go. Now it's snapping to it, sort of. Hmm. Let me see here. I'll try projecting that. Project selection filter. Now I'm select. Want that in there. That in there. I don't know why it won't let me get this line. That's kind of unfortunate. Um, anyhow, okay. Now I should be able to snap down here. What the heck? Now this is annoying. All right, I'm just going to start it down here, this line. And if you watched the previous video, you know you kind of have to go a right angle here. I'll do it there in this one. Hit OK. Now I have to connect the spline. Oh, come on. Connect to that. Go over here. I've just got to make sure I have enough material hanging over the edge so it'll I find the end of the line here. There it is there. Although, should have done the other type of spline. I'm going to do that spline. I redo the spline. I want to do a control point spline. That's better for this. Ah, there we go. Now it's snapping. Nice. Control point spline definitely goes better for this. All right. Now I can do the the lines and what we're going to do just connect that up finish sketch we're going to get to a view where you can see what's going on extrude we're going to cut that surface and we're going to go cut go off and we got to do negative here to send it backwards all right, so there's that part cut off now. Very good, looks good. Now, the last thing I wanna show you here is the grip part and that'll bring you up um, to the same point as where we are in class here with showing stuff. So tangent parallel to the surface, tangent to the surface, then you cut it. Um, and now I'm gonna show you the grip. All right, another work plane. So construct offset plane this time. We're gonna offset it from 
this plane, and we're going to offset it backwards, negative 0.05, from the start of the grip. It's a little bit off the bottom there, like I did in the other one. So we're going to start a sketch now on that plane. A general idea of the grip is um, to make, create, rectangle, uh, Center rectangle is the better option here. Start right here. Now, again, this is a replica of that specific lightsaber. I could see the grip on it. It was kind of like a couple of rectangles here. Um, so I'll do that. Finish sketch. You don't really have to. In the previous video, I trimmed off that stuff. You don't have to trim those off. You can just select it all the surfaces uh, and we're going to send it the other way um, you can grab it and just bring it and zoom in and see where it's at all right and not a cut we want it to be a join and then you know basically want it to be 0.05 away from that other side but um Negative 1.9, that's nice and even. Let's go with it. Okay. All right. And then what I did in the other video was I filleted these edges. All right. So I filleted this edge, this edge, this edge, and this edge. And the radius is like, I think I did like 0.02. That's a little bit much. Can't really see it here. Let me zoom in. Yeah, that's a little bit much, 0.02. Go 0.0. One, yeah, that looks a little better. All right, hit OK. Then the final thing here that I'll do in here is to, um, I guess it's under create. Yeah, pattern. This is the rectangular pattern. We want a circular pattern, so that's gonna be down here. Circular pattern. Now you got to make sure you get. Oh man, objects type faces. No, I want features. So you gotta select features from the circular pattern. The feature will give you that whole extrusion. And then also you need the, the, believe it or not, you need the fillets as well. Now you can also select them down here, the features. Just the last two features you did, you could have just clicked here and gotten them. Um, axis, so let's select the axis. Just that circle will be fine. How many? Oh, I think I did like nine or eight. All right. Hit OK. Bam, looks good. Um, I guess I made them a little bit bigger in the in the other one. So actually, you could go in if you want to that sketch, right? It's kind of cool. Should have made them maybe a little bit bigger, right? It's a little bit. Oh, it's moving the center point. Shoot, I want that to happen. So what you can do is you can lock that center point, and then when I change your size, I'll lock the whole thing. Never mind. Not fun. All right, I'll stick with that. I should have made them a little bit wider, maybe. Um, and then that'll be it for now, and I'll show you some more adding buttons. And uh, we'll add the front part up here. Like in the video, we'll cut a little thing in there, rectangle. And that'll be it.